Hey guys, Miss Jessica here and welcome back to day 16 of our December daily draws. Awesome job so far, we've done a lot. And today we're going to be making a poinsettia. Now a poinsettia is a plant, it's used to decorate homes and grows during this time of the year. Notice in my picture how all the little petals they actually look like leaves. And that's something really cool about this plant is that the petals actually take on a leaf look to it. It's very soft, um, so we're gonna have fun today just being creative and making a beautiful picture. So let's go ahead and take a look at our materials. We're gonna need oil pastels, watercolors, pencil, Sharpie eraser, and your paper. Now we are using watercolors, so I do recommend thick paper or watercolor. Let's go ahead and start to draw. So we're gonna move everything out of the way <clears throat> Grab your paper and put the number at the top. Today is number 16, so I want you guys to write that on the top corner. Grab your pencil, but like always, I'm going to use my Sharpie. Now for a poinsettia, it just has a bunch of leaves and flowers and little petals here. So we're going to kind of create a pattern that kind of looks like it's um, the same on both sides. So we're going to start right in the middle. And I want you guys to draw a circle. Now it's gonna be pretty small. It's not a big circle. It's the center of our flower. Now on top of that circle, we're gonna draw one small petal. Notice how it actually looks like a leaf. So I want you guys to go ahead and draw one pointing up. Then you're gonna jump to the bottom, try to draw the same size pointing down. And one on the left and one the right. So go ahead and want you guys to draw these for me. Try to make them look as even or the same as you can, but the main point here is to have one on the top, one on the bottom, and left and right. That's going to kind of help us create the rest of our flower. All right, now this is a video, so at any time if you need to pause, please do so. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and work on our next row of petals here. Now I'm going to go in between these two. And I'm going to draw a little bit bigger one. So I'm going to start on my petal. I'm going to curve it out. Jump down to my next one here below it and curve that up to a point. Notice how it sits right in between my petals. I'm going to do that four. One, two, three, and four. So I'm going to jump down and do that again. I'm trying to make those look as even or the same as I can. I'm going to jump up to the top now. And one more right in between my last two petals. So notice it's starting to look like this really beautiful big flower. We're going to do that one more time. Again, one, two, three, and four. It's going to sit between our petals we just drew. So I'm going to do that again. One, two, making them the largest ones now. Again, there's my second one. Jumping down to the bottom. Third and my fourth off to the side. Please make sure just to take your time if you wanna try again, maybe it was too small or you have more room. Now, if you wanna add more petals, you're more than welcome to. We are gonna add some leaves, so don't do anything just yet with those empty spots. So now for our leaves, they're gonna look kind of the same, but I'm gonna make them look just a little different. So I'm gonna, instead of curving it to a point, I'm just gonna curve it up and it looks a little bit more like a leaf shape. So I'm going to do that on all these four corners, nice and big. And then to help even make it look more like a leaf, we got to draw the veins inside. So we're going to go from the point down and we're going to draw the center of our leaves. Now it's just going to be these four on the outside. Don't do anything to the inside. And then with my pencil here, we're going to draw those diagonal lines for the veins just on the leaves. Don't do anything to those petals. So go ahead with your pencil. Just add a couple. Don't need very many. Do that to all the leaves. Again, just the four on the outside. And then we just have a few more things left to do. So great job, please make sure to pause if you need to, because next I'm gonna add just a couple little extra details and then we're ready to color already. Our uh, poinsettia flower wasn't too hard to draw, it was just repetition, which means the same thing over and over again. Now to kind of give it some fun things, we're gonna go to the middle and we're gonna draw small circles. 
Now, if your bigger circle's in the way, just erase it. But in the center of a poinsettia flower, we have um, the parts that pollinate the flower so it can grow and spread uh, and make more flowers. Now, around it, I'm gonna add sparkles just to kind of give it a little shine, a little sparkle to the flower. You don't have to, you can just leave it as is. But I'm gonna go around now and I'm gonna add this diamond shape for my sparkle. I'll do one at the top, one right. Let's do one at the bottom. And then to make it extra fun, I'm gonna do one on the leaf on the left. If you wanna add more sparkles, you can. Then I'm gonna add some circles some small ones, kind of like extra little sparkle, just around in some different areas. Maybe some on our petals. So just have some fun adding just a few, you don't need too many. And when you're done, great job guys, that is the end of our drawing for today. So please make sure to finish up, pause if you need to, just press play if you're ready to move on. Now we need to trace everything with our Sharpie. Mine's already traced, so what I want you to do is grab your Sharpie, trace every line that you drew today. The sparkles, the center, go ahead, take your time, don't draw anything new, just trace. So pause your video and press play when you're all done tracing. All right guys, now hopefully you're all done because we're gonna move into our oil pastel step. So grab your oil pastels. Mine's a small box, but maybe yours is bigger. Use whatever you have. Now you don't have to follow me in my materials today or colors, but we do want to think of our color scheme. Red, green, um, a little bit of blue, and some black and white. Now for poinsettia, all the leaves are red. Sometimes they can be a whitish yellow and sometimes they can be pink. So if you would like to try those colors today, please do. Maybe look up a picture of one, but I'm just going to do red and then my leaves green and my sparkles of gold. So I'm gonna begin with a red oil pastel. Now, like I mentioned before, the leaves, or excuse me, the petals of our poinsettia look like leaves. So using our red, we're gonna draw the veins like we did for the leaf, but they're not gonna be as bright, so you won't notice them. I'm gonna start in the middle, and I'm just gonna go around and draw a straight line on all my petals. Press hard with that pastel, and go ahead and do that to all the petals of the poinsettia. Don't do it to the leaves though. Remember those are the four on the outside, just the petals of the points. If your sparkle's in the way, just jump over. And like before, on each part, we're gonna add those diagonal lines for the veins of all the petals. So let's add that to each one. We do wanna press kinda hard. It should feel slippery. That's the oil in the oil pastel. Don't color it all in because we are going to paint it. So let's just take our time and do that to all the poinsettia petals. Please make sure to take your time. If I finish before you're ready and before you're done, just pause, finish up, and press play when you're ready to move on with it. All right, I just have a few more. Oops, I skipped one. I like to go from the center out so I don't miss any petals because I almost did. Again, if you have a sparkle or something there, you can just skip it, just go over it. So that way you can color it later. All right. All right, and my last one. So continue, just keep going. If you're not done, press pause. But if you are, that's actually it for our petals. We're gonna move on to our leaves. Now I already added all the veins for our leaves, so instead, we are going to be adding some color. I want you guys to grab a green. I'm gonna use a dark green. And we're just gonna trace what we've done so far. So just go ahead and trace what you've already drawn. I'll just make it stand out a little bit more. All your leaves, so the parts in the middle and all those diagonal lines coming from the center. Don't color it all the way in, just trace. All right, because we're going to still paint it. It doesn't have to be perfect because what we're going to do now is we're actually going to do some coloring. Uh, we're going to press very, very soft. So now grab a lighter green of some sort. And very softly, we're going to hold just like a pencil, and we're just going to color almost, not a scribble, 
but just barely touching the paper, we want to see some white paper showing through. We're going to do that to every leaf, so I'm going to turn mine real fast, just so it's a little easier. Try not to go on your um, petals here, because red and green don't like to mix together. They're called complementary colors, so they look good when you put them in a picture, but if you mix them together, they turn brown or black. Not the prettiest of colors to mix together. But make sure to leave some white space because we will paint with our watercolors. And watercolors and oil pastels don't mix together. So we're going to see that happening today. Now once you're done, we only have a few more things to color with our pastels. The center, where all these little circles are, is yellow. So I'm going to take a yellow and I'm just going to kind of swirl it in a little circle all the way around, like so. And I'm going to do all my stars. Now for my stars and my sparkles, I'm going to use a gold. You can use any color you want. If you have a metallic sharpie or a crayon or something, use that too. Have fun. Make it sparkly. But I'm just going to take my gold and I'm going to go around and nicely fill in all the little stars, the little circles, even the ones on my plant here. Any circles I see. So double check. And this is going to be our last oil pastel step. So please make sure to finish that up because now we're going to begin to paint. But as always, if you need more time, press pause and then press play when you're ready to paint with me. Awesome, guys. Now we have done quite a bit already. So let's finish up with our watercolors. Grab your bucket of water, some brushes, and definitely a towel just in case something spilled. But I'm going to use my medium-sized brush. And I'm going to start with my red. So we're just going to dip white, grab a red, one, two, three, and just paint right over the oil pastel. And you should notice that the oil pastel stays, but now the red is left behind. So we're just going to keep going. Make sure you dip that in your water every single time before you get more color. So dip white, one, two, three. You guys probably know that by now, but if this is something new, always practice. We're just going to continue to paint all the red. You can do big strokes, maybe grab a bigger brush if you'd like. I'm going to stick with my medium sized one so that way it won't um, go outside of my petals. I can kind of control it a little better. If you notice it's getting light, that just means you need a little bit more water and paint. Kind of running out. We don't want it to be super, super dark red. Watercolors are meant to stay a lighter color. Um, and that's so we can also see our oil pastels through. So I'm gonna keep it a lighter red. You can go over the sparkles. They will still show up our gold or color you used. Again, watercolors do not mix with oil pastels. I wonder what the color is. Beautiful job, guys. Go ahead and finish painting. Get all your white spots. If it's really wet, take a towel, gently pat it, and it'll take off any water you didn't want anymore. Clean that brush really good because next we're going to move to our green leaves. I'm going to use a darker green, and I'm just going to paint right over my oil pastel. Let me get a little more water on there. And what it's going to do is start to just fill in all the white spots, but then you'll still be able to see all the greens left behind. So go ahead and if you're ready, just paint all those leaves or go ahead and do so when you are ready. And that's going to be one of the last things we're going to do today. So take your time. Remember, green and red don't mix well together, so don't mix these two colors together. Be very careful when you paint next to it. Go nice and slow. Remember to get water every time you dip. Otherwise, you're going to have some super dark colors, and we want to keep it light today, and always. All right, you guys, this is officially the end of the project. That's the last thing to paint. If you would like to paint the background, you're more than welcome to, but I want to keep it white so I can see all my little gold sparkles. So once you're done, just take your brush and clean it in your water. Wipe it off, maybe even on a towel, let it dry. Dump that water if you don't need it anymore. And let this dry. So again, you might have to wait just a little bit. Um, don't put it inside anything because then the water will get all gross. But you guys, this turned out beautiful. I love poinsettias. They're beautiful to look at and the sparkles just kind of uh, emphasize the beauty of it. So great job today. 
Um, just like always, I'll see you guys again soon. My name is Jessica.